Okay, so bold is definitely functional MRI, okay? But in about 19... 96, 95, 96, 97, somewhere around there, it became clear to us that uh, SPM used for the analysis of functional imaging in general was really just a, a, a mathematical analysis of uh, a block of scanned data. And a structural image was also a block of scanned data. So why not apply exactly the same techniques to structural images rather than functional images? And lo and behold, bingo. I mean, the sensitivity for detection of diffuse small changes in the local concentration of grey matter or white matter in the human brain regionally became a reality. And not only was that important, but much more important was the fact that you then, within the same framework of data capture and the same framework of data analysis, were able to bring structure and function together in a very sensitive manner. The methodological agenda was no longer a, a group agenda, it was Carl's agenda, and Carl was now driving that. So from 94, really, he, he's the, the sole person. And prior to that, all sorts of interesting things. I, I remember one of the first breakthroughs was Ray Dolan coming in to the big lab with an, with an old book, it must have been 1930 or 1940, a little pamphlet on Ancova and dropping it on Carl's desk and saying, what do you think of that? You know, four or five weeks later out came this, this, this wonderful way of beginning to analyze the results. Um, so that, uh, that, that, that whole methodological thing, I took a big role in the political side of that. Political by political, I meant, I, I've talked to you about the brickbats, about whether this was a science or not. And it became very clear to me that the, 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 the idea it had to be a quantitative science was, was if we couldn't get the same results in, in different laboratories or analyze the same data and get the same result, then there was just there was no point. And so I was uh, determined and very single minded. Some people still blame me for having been quite so single minded of trying to get across the generic methods of analysis, which were packaged in the thing we call SPM in, in the lab. But where it wasn't that it was SPM, what I wanted everyone to start doing is getting involved in the generic analytical techniques using standard statistics applied to large image data sets. And that, by the way, was a much better way of bringing together all the data which others have tried to do by databasing results than any databasing. And the fact that now we do have a science and now that you know, there are people with different implementations of these techniques, but they are, they're one set and they're principled and they've been validated and so on. Uh, personally, I think it's one of my greatest achievements. Mm -hmm.